Hi there, um, this video is about cases and protection for your iPhone. You just bought your new shiny iPhone 4, here it is. You've got your aluminium band around the outside, uh, you've got your glass on both sides, and you're scared of it getting scratched or dropped or bumped or scraped. Uh, it's not a nice feeling, especially if you paid a lot for it. Um, and you want to get a case for it to protect it. The problem is that you don't want to cover it up because it is such a nice design and it is so beautiful and you're in a catch-22 because you can either go for style or you can go for protection so I've got five cases up in front of me and I'm going to try and um, explain them uh, give you a, an overview of the current ma market for iPhone 4 cases firstly uh, we'll go with Belkin Belkin have got uh, this pack here which is a a grip groove duo and it comes with two silicon skins you can see here there's one black one white or you can go with uh, purple and blue which are quite nice if you're into funky colors um, it is a silicon skin so it won't really I can't imagine it protecting you from drops uh, these are made of silicon I don't think um, they're very protective like wristbands it does say down here though, uh, drop proof your iPhone with a layer of strong flexible silicone, shock absorbent and durable. I can kind of believe it if it was like sort of skin tight. The problem you've got though is because it is silicon, um, you do cover up the back of the phone um, to get the protection. And even though this one says it's, it's clear, uh, it isn't clear. It's white. You can't see the black through the silicon so therefore it's not clear. Um, there's no price on it, but I imagine it to be about twenty dollars for a silicon for a silicon skin duo pack, two in one. The next one's also from Belkin. It's called the Grip View, and it is a plastic case, um, which obviously would surround the whole phone apart from the front. Um, you, it comes in three colours: clear, which is see-through, so you can see the black, but you do get the added bulk of the plastic. Black Pearl, which is sort of like a translucent black, and Royal Purple, which is a nice colour purple, which is translucent as well. You can see the Apple logo. Um, this would protect you from drops um, and scrapes and scratches and anything like that. The problem is, um, obviously it would add bulk to the case. You can see that there's a sort of extra bit on the side. Um, it would add a few millimetres to the phone and it would make it look more like a, a 3GS than the, the sleek rectangular iPhone 4 which is unfortunate. Uh, the third case which everyone's seen is the bumper from Apple. They are $30 or £25 and they come in six colours. My favourites the white one on the black and the black one on, on a white iPhone if you were to go for that. Uh, I've seen pictures on Mac Rumours of orange ones which look quite nice, the blue one looks quite nice, the pink one looks horrible unless you're a girl and you're into pink. Um, but personally I go for white with the black iPhone. There's been, uh, not rumours, discussion that the bumper doesn't actually fit the phone properly, it's a bit uh, too big so when you actually hold the phone in your hand like that uh, the case bows around the outside um, which is a bit of a problem especially because it's designed by Apple and it is quite expensive for a bit of plastic but um, if it is only a rumour and it only affects a few cases then uh, that's fine. Uh, the moderator on iPod Touch fans, uh, Blake, he's got an orange one and his fits fine so it might just be uh, other people who are hit unfortunately. Um, to just divert away from cases a second Here's the Zag Invisible Shield. This has been around since the iPod Touch first gen. It's been around before that, probably. Um, and basically, they're saying they're using Engadget and Mac rumors um, to prove that the iPhone 4 can be scratched. And they are trying to sell their Invisible Shield, which is like um, just plastic screen protectors that cover the whole phone. Um, they don't add any bulk to it. Um, like a case, um, they do protect it in every way apart from if it's dropped. But I have dropped my 3GS when it was covered in a, in a zag, and it didn't scratch and it didn't break. 
Uh, the problem is it's glass on both sides. Um, invisible shields are quite easy to put on. There's loads, loads of guides on YouTube to put on invisible shields. You have to do them in the bathroom with the hot water tap running so that there's no air bubbles. And these are uh, full body, twenty four ninety nine, twenty four dollars, uh, twenty five dollars, which is about eighteen pound. And in the UK, you can buy them in car phone warehouse, um, and you can get them online as well here. And finally, the case I want to show you is by Groove, and I've only just discovered it, and it's called uh, a bamboo iPhone four case. Not very imaginative name, and it is a natural. Um, sturdy bamboo case for your iPhone 4. There's a gallery over here. So you can have a look at. Now these are just uh, iPhone 3GSs. But you can see that it is bamboo and it's moulded around the phone. It's got this little bit here which detaches off the bottom so you can dock your phone. And it's made of uh, plastic, uh, not plastic, sorry, bamboo. The price of it is. Uh, fifty dollars, um, or seventy dollars if you want to get your own custom engraving, engraving, engraving on the back. Um, there's a tree if you're into trees. Uh, seventy dollars. Uh, then shipping in the U.S. I think it's ten dollars, and internationally it's twenty. So for me to get one of these, uh, it would be ninety dollars, which I can work out as. Sixty pound for a case, which is about a tenth of the price of the iPhone, but it does look really nice. I'm not sure about protection. Um, it would protect it from like uh, scratches if you were to scratch it on the surface. Uh, the case would take the damage, but if you were to drop it, would bamboo take the the shock or would it just snap? I'm not sure, um, but it's 100% bamboo. We can go to the the actual page here. It only adds 0.7 inches of thickness. You can see the shape of the iPhone as well, um, perfectly. And the, the way I see it is if you wanted to protect your iPhone and cover the back up, the back's really nice. The only way you can warrant covering the back up is to make uh, an equally nice back on the case. And with this, for an extra $20 on top of the case, you can actually make send your own design in and they will engrave your own, own design onto the back of the case. Or they've got a choice of designs like this bird, they've got a tree, they've got this thing here, they've got deers. Or you can send your own um, design in, they'll do it. Here's uh, the features. It allows charging, it's got solid FCS certified bamboo. Um, yeah, and they're taking pre-orders at the moment, you can put it down a $20 pre-order and then they start... Um, selling them on July the 1st, which is two days, um, three days, no, two days, so um, yeah, there are all the cases I wanted to show you, um, if you've got any more, feel free to post them in the comments, um, my favourite's this bamboo case, it's, it's so nice, uh, it's a bit expensive though, like £60 uh, for this, or £25, which is a third of the price, for a bumper. Uh, I think I'm going to go with a bumper first, and then start saving up for this around uh, Christmas, Christmas time, or September, or just after the summer, because it really does look nice. Um, yeah, so there are all the protection options that I can show you at the moment. If you want to post any more, feel free to post me links in the comments, and have a good day.